special controls menu. I thought this was cool. Okay, just, they, just know that they can't see that. I know they can't see that. I was kind of trying to narrate. Okay. I, hang on, I want to tell one more thing because this, because actually okay. seeing it in this, um, actually seeing it in this like model here reminded me of around the time the Switch was first released. I remembered seeing this adorable little gif between, it was Kirby and it was Link. And they're sitting next to each other, and Link has the two controllers, and he manages to slide them into that little handheld thing. And he looks up at the screen, and he looks so curious. He's like, oh, wait, am I doing it? Am I actually doing it? And Kirby just makes a little... <laughs> face. So, we'll see. All right, let's see what, what kind of monster I'm going to have to fight. Mm. Is it going to be Gibdos or something? What if you have to fight the treasure chest? <laughs> I don't think Legend of Zelda has ever included mimics. Oh, that makes sense. Ooh. It's horrible ones. Well, that's horrible. Yeah. Okay. Oh. I've right. treated them horribly. Aww. I'm actually going to save this weapon for the, um... The later waves. How many waves do you think you'll have here? I'm assuming five, because I think that's sort of like the standard for these things. Okay. Yeah, it is a little fascinating with this. I um. Is that they have just <laughs> this place? I mean, if there is this whole underground society thing that happened that happened here, you realize there's like there's. So far, there's been like no signs of any houses or any or stores or anything. It's been mining facilities, big roots. Um, well, I, well, I feel like this is this was just sort of like a, you know an underground mining area. I don't really feel like they may have lived down here. Then what's the col? Then what are the coliseums for? Not exactly. Test of test of warriors metal in a dangerous place. That's assuming that that's assuming that they were meant for. Um, enemy combat. But maybe yeah. there was something else that was going on. Like maybe, oh, I guess you're right. Maybe they were. Maybe they. This was a place where they could test their constructs. That actually would would, would make a lot of sense, you know, because yeah. what better place to test it than, you know, like an underground mine area. Yeah. Actually, I wonder though too, because so much of like you're finding so much zonite down here, and the constructs are down here. I actually wonder if this uh... Okay, note this out. If you can freeze <laughs> these guys while they're on the ceiling and they will comically fall to the ground. <laughs> that actually is um And we do know that the um uh the zone I were not always in the sky. They spent at least some of their time on the ground and they kinda got raised into the sky in the in the pat in the um at some point in the future, you remember what Rauru said, like, oh, during my time, this was all on the surface. Yep. Oh, there's, there's going to be one more... Hey, man. There's going to be one more wave after this guy. Yeah. So perhaps the Zonai lived on the surface and had their, you know, their homes and their ceremonies up there. And they found the Zonite underground and built the mining facilities and the testing grounds around them. So maybe all of yeah. this is just corrupted Zonai. Yeah, yeah, most likely. That's cool. Oh, my spear is about to break, so I might as well do Catch. that. Catch! <laughs> yeah, especially since he has a spear for me. And now I gotta fight one of each of them. Alright! I think... <laughs> There's a trope called, take a moment to catch your death. <laughs> and that's exactly what just happened. It's like, here, catch! Explodes. When you put a bomb on a bomb arrow, do you have to, like, do you have only a certain amount of time before it goes off? Like, no you, clue. Like, if you just stand there holding the bomb for, like, an indefinite amount of time, just, like, eventually blow himself up. I do not know. I have never waited long enough to try. That would be... That would... That would... It would make sense if yes. It would also make sense if no. <laughs> I feel like that would be a... Uh, <laughs> that would... That would be pretty funny, actually. <laughs> I'm here with my spike ball. Yeah, because you have one to give me. 
Whack, 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 whack. Whack, 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 whack. Whack. Okay, seriously, give me yours. Thanks, Hilded. Big thank you. He finished them off. Thank you, kiddo. He's such a good boy. He's such a very good boy. Yep. Mm. I look forward to whenever we like meet up with him again. Like actually talk to him in person. He's so cute. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he did tell me to come back at some point so he could like tell me about any research he may have found. Yeah. Did I get? Ooh. Ooh, Sheik's mask. Worn by Sheikah, who saved a time-traveling hero. Made from the finest Sheikah stealth fabrics, it is the final word, the final word in undercover gear. Ooh. Okay, so now at some point I need to head back to Kakariko and get the rest of the stealth outfit then. Interesting. Yeah. We 